Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android web view tutorial. So today in this video, I'm just going to show you that how to add the download listener for the web view. So we have already developed an Android app like this from the last few tutorials. We have a brand new Android application which has everything. So I'm not going to deeply discuss about the things that we have already added. Instead, I'm just going to dive deep into the Android web view and uh, its download listener so uh, first off i'm just going to the uh, uh, android app so this is the layout which we have developer since last video so now we have nothing to do with this part so i'm just going to just close that now we are in this uh, main activity and here we have the super web view and what I'm going to do is that we have already defined the set web view client we have already defined the web chrome client so now what we need to do is that I'm just going to you know just uh, somewhere else at this point I'm just going to within this one create I'm just going to add the uh, download listener for this super web view so that can be somewhere else maybe like uh, you know just after the uh, web chrome client you can give it into any position that doesn't matter so i'm just creating the super web view which is the variable name of my web view then add a dot then set download listener then new download listener now as you guys can see we have the one download start method which is automatically printed while just calling the method now inside that we have the variables that is a string that is the url of the downloading file we have string user agent string content for this position then string me meme type I don't know how to pronounce anyway <laughs> we have that now finally we have the long which is the content length so the content length is the length of the file that need to be downloaded now let's go and let me show you so I'm um, in this uh, Android developers reference page and as you guys can see we have this uh, variable names uh, which are the string and finally one long value so this is i'm in the web kit of the uh, i'm in the download listener of this uh, web kit uh, android you know uh, those tabs so anyway now we have the parameters which is the arguments we have url which is the full url to content that uh, to the content that should be downloaded so this is the url of the downloading file we have user agent user agent to be uh, to be used for download uh, so probably the user agent is something that is uh, that define the type of this uh, downloading file so content disposition blah 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 meme type blah 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 and finally we have the content length the size of downloading file so uh, yeah you just have to keep in mind that it is actually reported by the server so basically you, there will be sometimes there will be have a difference between the downloaded file which is a uh, download file and the size of the file that is responded by the server but anyway that's for this just closing that now let's go to we have yeah opening that uh no this one yeah this one now we have the uh, string url we have the string user agent now what we need to do is that to start the downloading we have in android we have the download manager which is basically used to uh, alert or notice uh, notify the android system to start the downloading process so same as that one i'm just going to create a download request using the download manager so download manager then we have to just add a request and my request I want to just give it as my request uh, just a sample name then equal to the new then uh, request which is download manager request and now we have to add the URI which is the URL to be downloaded so in, in our case we have the URL instead of this URI so I'm just going to parse that parse URI dot parse then url so this way our url get converted into this uri now that's it now we have the uh, we have added successfully the download manager and its request next using that request i'm just going to check the yeah i'm just going to the allow the permission allow scanning by media scanner so this method is basically you know uh, the allow uh, scanning by media so media scanner is basically for understanding 
for uh, not understanding but um, for letting the android app to uh, you know uh, take action again in uh, according to the type of file downloader so if it is a document type which is basically a pdf file then uh, it should open some sort of set kind of files so here in the download manager request we have a lot of things and here it is allow scanning by media scanner if the file to be downloaded is to be scanned by the media scanner this method should be called so before and rec okay so is called so let's close that we don't need that you know after that uh, after uh, just figuring out what is the uh, type of file we just need to again call the my request and at this point we need to add the uh, set notification visibility which means that it will let you know that the, the file is downloaded the file is downloading and some sort of things like that visibility I'm just going to set it into visible which we can see we have a couple options request dot visibility visible notify completer so this will call when the file is actually downloaded so just going to use that thing now we need to add the download manager so at this point we used the download manager request and now we are going to create a download manager so that can be done like download manager then my manager then equal to then we have the uh, you know download okay download manager get system service that can be a download service so uh, using the download manager we can just uh, let the uh, request which is the download request we can uh, we can just uh, make sure that the file is uh, the request is happening through the download manager so for that just my download manager then nq which is going to be uh, just add the my request into the queue so that the file will be downloaded according to the by the download manager uh, from the request which is my request then my request we just need to add that thing okay now we are almost ready to go so finally if you want you can just add a toast message that says the file is being downloaded so your file file is downloading so this way uh, when the download is started then it will be going to call all these things and finally it will if it is successful then it will it will be going to just say that the your file is downloading so uh, at this point you can just yeah before that i'm just going to run the app oh, yeah uh, yeah before that we just need to add the permission inside the manifest so we need to add the permission to use the external sources so read and write uh, better give both permission yeah external so storage now we can just go and try this in the android device so let's go and run that app okay now the app is running and as you guys can see everything from the last video i'm just going to use a sample pdf so i'm just searching for sample pdf so this way uh, all these links will be dragged download links so i'm just going to click on the first one let's see what happened and blam as you guys can see your file is downloading and the download is over here as you can see it's downloading the file now uh, that's what is actually mean by download manager and downloading it i'm sure that you guys have a little bit doubt about the download manager even if i have discussed it in this video so uh, basically i haven't made a, a separate video on the download manager so i'm sure that you will have a, some sort of doubts regarding the download manager which can which is quite natural but uh, i can say that you will be a little bit okay from the next video uh, after watching this and the upcoming videos so now we have almost uh, ready and maybe like in the next video we'll be creating a dialogue for the download manager and displaying the file name or something like that and the file sizes or yeah maybe something like that so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you do then just give a big thumbs up for this video so uh, yeah as always thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video peace out